Everybody's got to go to sleep at night. There's a constant demand for homes. As far as commercial real estate, it's very elastic. It moves with the economy. And right now, the economy is, is, is facing enormous and continuing headwinds. And so as a result, a lot of the downside that is going to hit commercial real estate has yet to materialize. And that's going to offset the fact that the commercial real estate bubble was not quite as uh, large as the residential mm -hmm. bubble. Okay. But, I mean, if we were to see this shoe drop, I mean, if we were to see... I mean, you, come, you look at New York, and, uh, you know, I was in one building the other day in Midtown, look across the street, this three, three floors in a row empty. I mean, you are seeing a lot of consolidation in financial services, and as a result, they're clearing out of some of these huge buildings that, of course, uh, were, were part of the, uh, the boom. I just walked up here to the studio, and I have to tell you that on every single block, whether you're on Madison or Fifth Avenue here in New York City, uh, you see one large storefront empty. Right. Uh, and that's going on throughout retail all over the country. Well, I think that they, it's, it's true that the commercial real estate industry is moving into a very tough phase. Um, I, there's, there's, uh, there's reason to expect that commercial property values will probably continue to go down through about 2012. What, in, what investors have to understand, though, is that uh, public REIT investors aren't responding to, uh, to yesterday's news about commercial property values. And generally speaking, there's a lag that averages about a year and a half between when REIT stock prices start to move and when those movements are measured on the private side in property values. But you have to remember something else. In the early 90s, when the real estate crisis was very, very severe, as it is today, cap, rate, cap rates on property, the yield that property threw off, snuck into the double digits. At that point, investors in stocks were willing to pay more for real estate than private investors. Right now, REIT stocks, when you look at total enterprise value, are trading at levels that do not show double-digit cap rates yet, and I believe that's where we're going to get. When we get there, that's the bottom. Mm -hmm. So when do you think that is? Well, I think you're going to see continued deterioration in tendencies and in, in, uh, in lease rates, and uh, until that percolates through the marketplace, I don't think we can call a bottom yet.